May 15th, St. John Baptiste de La Salle. John Baptiste was born in Reims, France, in the year 1651, into a family of magistrates. He was the eldest of ten children. While still a boy, a cousin recognized something special in him and began to read the lives of the saints to him. At age eleven, he received a tonsure, and in 1667, he was solemnly installed as a canon of the See of Reims. In the year 1670, he was sent to Paris to study theology at the seminary of St. Sulpice. While residing there, he attended lectures in theology. He also came under the spiritual direction of the well-known Monsignor Louis Tresson and made rapid progress in virtue. In July 1671, his mother died. A year later, his father also died. This obliged him to leave Paris and return home. At the age of 21, as a head of the family, he had the responsibility of educating his brothers and sisters. At that time, a wealthy lady in Rhone had founded a free school for orphan boys. The model was brought to rhymes by a lay teacher who was hosted by John Baptiste de La Salle in his house. This contact opened his eyes to the need for Catholic education for poor boys, and he undertook the task of preparing teachers for these schools. Later, St. John de La Salle wrote in a memoir, If I had ever thought that what I did out of pure charity for the poor school teachers would make it incumbent upon me to live with them, I would have given it up at once. I used to consider their condition lower than the servants, which would have made the idea of living with them something insupportable. This implicit admittance was, however, the beginning of the mission of St. John Baptiste. This mission was the organization of free primary Catholic schools for poor boys and the foundation of the Brothers of the Christian Schools, commonly called the Christian Brothers. By assuming this initiative, he had indirectly put not only his relatives but most of his city against him, since at the time the notion of providing education for the lower classes was novel and not accepted. When he wrote the rules for this institute, he wanted its members to live without money, confiding in divine providence. His companions murmured, saying that this was very easy for him, a canon with a good income, but not for others. He left his position and distributed his goods to the poor. Then his disciples complained that it was a crime to not distribute the goods amongst them instead of the poor. Soon after the institute and the schools were organized, persecution started against the lay teachers. Just seeing them in their habit was motive for their opponents to boo them in the streets and throw mud in their faces. He defended frequent communion for the lay teachers and boys, which raised the ire of the Janists and caused him to be abandoned by many of his disciples. Father John Baptiste's later years were spent at the College of St. Jean in Rome. In 1716 he resigned from the active direction and government of the institute. The priest in charge of the Novite took advantage of the situation to mistreat him. Two days before he died, the Archbishop of Rhone, due to the frequent polemics St. John Baptiste raised, deprived him of his priestly powers, as if he were an unworthy priest. The saint smiled and said, I hope to be liberated shortly from Egypt and enter into the promised land of the elect. He achieved his aim on April 7, 1719, a good Friday, at the age of 67. The example of St. John Baptiste de La Salle may well lead every one of us to ask himself, What have I done to help and to encourage this most necessary and divine work? What sacrifices am I prepared to make that the Christian education of our children may be carried out in spite of all the hindrances and hostilities which beset it? The Church has shown her appreciation of the character of this man, a thinker and initiator of the first importance in the history of education, by canonizing him in 1900 and giving his feast to the whole Western Church. And in 1950, Pope Pius XII declared him the heavenly patron of all school teachers.